It all started one hot summer night in August in 1971. A family was suddenly awakened by a blaring bedside radio. The radio was tuned into a station that was not in English and the family had never heard before. This was just the beginning of a four-year supernatural ordeal for the family. The following nights, a bedside lamp was repeatedly knocked down to the floor. The Christmas season of 1972, an ornament from the tree was thrown across the room at the husband's head. The ornament was thrown so hard that it knocked the husband into a chair. Just as he fell into the chair, the Christmas tree began to shake up and down. <coughs> After New Year's, footsteps were heard multiple times. Only thing, it was upstairs in the bedrooms and no one was there. One night, the son awoke to find a man staring at him angrily. The son described the man as being dressed in old-fashioned clothes. Things became worse when the family was throwing a dinner party. Suddenly there was knocking at the front door, then the living room door flung open, and all the lights in the house turned on. Finally fed up, the family contacted the church, and a priest blessed the house. This only made things worse. Objects were thrown and unexplained noises were heard. One particular noise was that of a large piece of furniture crashing to the floor. Good evening. I want to talk to you tonight from my heart on a subject of... The family were put in touch with a medium. The medium sensed a farmer named Chatterton, and that Chatterton considered the family trespassers on his property. An investigation proved that there had been a Chatterton that lived on the property in the mid-18th century. Chatterton's wife started to follow the tenant's wife up the stairs, and if seen, she would fade back into the shadows. When seen on the stairs, she would wear a pinafore and her hair in a bun. Chatterton started to appear on the television screens. He would wear a black cravat, a high neck shirt, a black jacket with wide and pointed lapels. After four years, the family decided to purchase a new home and leave. There hasn't been any new activity since the family left. Thornton Heath is a district in South London. In Chatterton's time in Thornton Heath, there was an isolated farmhouse, a large gallows, and a pond near the London Road. I do not know if the isolated farmhouse is the same house or there was another house. One thing is true, Chatterton was used to his home being more isolated than it was in the 70s. This begs the question, why this family? There must have been many families before and after. Perhaps it wasn't the ghost of Chatterton at all. Maybe the poltergeist was created by one of the family members.
I hope you have enjoyed my first video on this channel. Do not forget to leave a like and subscribe. Good night, my lovelies.